Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 45 in chapter 28. Chapter 28 is about source of magnetic fields. So there you can see we have a loop of wire. The current is flows anticlockwise. And then we need to determine the magnetic fields at a location P. This location is X and Y, right? The location is given you. And then for this one, we need to cut the wire, this loop, in four parts. Part 1, part 2, part 4, and part 3. And then for each side, you can see, uh, can we consider the similar mode we solved? Uh, yes, we solved the if the P is just located at the center of the wire, right? Uh, but now this model, in this case, you can see the P is randomly above the, uh, below the wire P, right? So this is not, but we solved another model. That is the P is just located at one end of this wire from problem 40. And uh, you can go back to look at the problem 40. We solved this model. So in this model, we know magnetic field can be right in this equation, right? Now we can use it there. Now we look at part one. For part one, we can cut it in two parts, right? This is one part. This is another part. So red part and the blue part, right? For red part, you can see this uh, location P is, yes, just above one end. Similarly, for blue part, it is above one end, right? Now you can come back to there. So for this red part, we can see the length for this wire is x. So we replace the d as x. Now the distance from the wire to the position p is a minus y, right? So we replace the y as a minus y. Location, it is k direction. k is pointing out. You can use the right hand rule to determine its location, uh, its direction. Now we look at the blue part. For blue part, similarly, the direction is k there. And also, we can see the length for this blue part is b minus x. So we place the d as b minus x. The distance above this wire is a minus y, right? So we place y as a minus y. So this one, we get a magnetic field as b1 in this equation. Similarly, we can look at the B2. So for B2, we can say we still cut in two parts, right? And then similarly, you, re you input the uh, specific D and the Y, the distance of the wire, and the distance above the wire at there. So you get a B2. Similarly, you get a B3, and you get a B4. Now finally, we need to determine magnetic field at this location. We need to add B1, B2, B3, B4 together. So you add them together and input all the uh, B1, B2, B3, B4. You can find the answer there. Thank you.